Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now uh, guess what plane we are in right now, of course this is the A320 and this looks very wrong with the Reiner livery on it. Obviously, Reiner does not normally have an A320, but it looks very interesting. You know, they only fly 737s around, so this is definitely uh, a curse, but that's a whole nother story. Yeah, today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the A320 and especially fly it a little bit more around uh, Europe, I, I guess. We're in uh, Perma de Mallorca Airport. A place that Reiner, for example, visits a lot. You know, we haven't really talked about the A320 a lot. And uh, it is actually a very special plane. Maybe a little bit of a different plane compared to, you know, the Boeing aircraft that we fly. The 737, for example. These planes are not similar at all, even though they do share the same market. You know, you could use the 737 for the same thing that you would use an A320 for. For example, you know, flying uh, passengers around Europe cheaply. Like Reiner does. But Reiner uses 737 and uh, airlines like EasyJet uses the A320 family. So, yeah, that is that. Yeah, this plane has some very interesting uh, capabilities and it's pretty interesting safety-wise. So let's just go ahead and fly this plane real quick. Let's get it off the, the ground here. Let's get the parking brake off and let's just fly. Now, for this video, of course, we have got a Flight Factor A320. This is probably one of the most expensive add-ons that there are for the flight simulator of X-Plane. I think you can pay up to like $90 for a normal A320 version. Uh, so that's a lot. Let's go ahead and take off. There we go. We have rotated just nicely 130 knots. This plane, it doesn't need a long runway, just like the 737. There we go. Now, all right, since we have taken off, let's actually talk about what we're going to do now. Uh, in the title, it says trying to crash the A320, uh, which is an interesting challenge. I mean, you might think uh, crashing a plane is easy and even crashing an A320 intentionally is easy as well. Or is it? Let's, uh, you know, try doing some tests. For example, let's just while climbing, cut the power cut the throttle there we go we are down to zero and let's just half the aircraft climb like this normally uh, maybe we can even activate the autopilot the autopilot is also very interesting i have no idea how it properly works like i i genuinely I, i'm very much confused by the autopilot like i do not know how to have only heading mode turned on or if you can only have everything run at the same time it's weird but let's just see oh now the aircraft has noticed something and that's that the power is cut even though I did set the plane to climb at 2700 feet per minute of vertical speed the autopilot did not want to climb. It did its own decision of not climbing because obviously there was not enough power to climb. The aircraft knew that if it was going to climb then it was obviously going to lose much more speed and eventually stall out maybe. But something that we're going to do now is uh, climbing by hand and what is happening now is that the autopilot pilot has now actually turned on itself in a way and has put on some power on these engines as you can see it's actually put it to toga the maximum power even though here as you can see in my throttle quadrant there is no power input i can simply set it back and uh, and tell the computer to shut up but uh, but once i try this again i think the autopilot will just come back and uh, put in some more power again i guess so this is the thing you cannot really stall out an a320 because of the new fly-by-wire things and all that stuff there we go I I have done nothing through the throttle, but still, the plane decided to accelerate, which is an amazing feature. I mean, you know, having a plane casually stalling out is not very common around airliners these days anyway, but, you know, it's it's fine. It's nice to have, right? Now, another thing that this uh, fly-by-wire provides is some, uh, there we go, banking protection. As you can see, I tried banking to the left as much as possible, which is not possible. <laughs> there we go. We cannot go beyond a, I think this is a 45-degree angle of bank, which is, by the way, a perfectly safe a bank angle. Now, uh, this is something that you would definitely uh, try doing in a real A320 when you are actually trying to become a pilot. You know, when you do your type rating on the A320, you do normal maneuvers like this. I've also done like 45 degrees of bank, no problem at all. This is very interesting though. We cannot proceed to do an aileron roll or even a barrel roll or anything like that. Uh, the plane just won't let us do that. Let's just see if we can actually just try nose diving the ground. There we go. Let's see if the fly-by-wire computer will have anything against that. Uh, uh, that is probably the only way we could crash this plane in any way, actually. I'm actually pushing down all the way on the yoke here, on the joystick. Uh, maybe this is actually going to work. Uh, oh, wow. Well, that, that did not, that did not work, did it? 
Yeah, I mean, after all, the pilot is still the one in command of flying the aircraft and not the fly-by-wire computer. But, you know, do you have to consider as well that this plane is from the 80s? What else could we try? Let's maybe try turning on the autopilot and have the autopilot crash us into the ground. Let's see if that's possible or if it's gonna go against that. There we go. Let's just turn on the autopilot. There we go. I set the autopilot to a vertical speed of minus 4,100 feet per minute, and the plane is going down with the autopilot. It's reduced its descent rate. Oh, what is the plane doing now? It has stopped descending, but the power is cut. I've set it to zero, which means that the plane will have to push pull power again in order to uh, maintain flight. Oh, what is it doing? Very interesting behavior here from the autopilot. I guess it's eventually going to do a rather soft landing here in this field, right? Just see. There we go. All right. The A320 has crashed itself on uh, onto this field here. Very interesting. Now, another very interesting safety feature that this plane also has, which I've already talked about earlier in an earlier video, is the ditching mode. And yeah, by that, I literally mean the water ditching mode. When you land on water, yeah, this plane kind of has a water mode to it. Okay, so what we've done now is we have uh, cut the engine. Let's get the ram air out as soon as possible so that we have electricity on board. Uh, yeah, there we go. The ram air turbine is out, which is creating electricity to run uh, the basic instruments that we need for uh, continuing to fly. Uh, the plane definitely now is a little bit stiffer on the controls, but uh, we are running fine on speed as well, so no worries at all. Let's try something interesting. We have a lot of features here again in, especially here, the add-on mod. We can do a lot. For example, we have uh, what do we got? We have the emergency call, which I've turned on now. So I guess now in the cabin there is an emergency call out. Now, by the way, since we are about to land in the ocean, I almost forgot to actually turn on this feature. Let's turn on the ditching mode, which is uh, here. There we go. Come on. Just let me press it. God damn it. Now that seals off all the air vents and all that stuff so that water cannot enter the cabin. There we go. It's now turned on so the plane won't sink as quickly. We have uh, encountered something very, oh, something very interesting. The plane does not fly properly. I think uh, this actually has messed up the uh, fly-by-wire computers. Oh no. That was really bad now. <laughs> All right, so this is a very special water landing that we're about to do. Now, I do not really know what is actually causing the jet noise here on the outside. Probably it is actually the air that's still rushing through the engines and making them spin. But let's go ahead and just get this plane somewhat landed in the ocean. This is like kind of like the first time that I fly an A320 properly, so uh, I'm not very qualified. And I really don't like this noise that's going on right now here. All right, come on. We just have to somewhat get this plane down into the ocean so we can demonstrate the ditching mode. All uh, right, and now we're slowly getting down to the ocean. We have lost most of the hydraulic, most of the controls, uh, but uh, the plane still does kind of fly. Let's just try making this a smooth landing here in the ocean. Okay, that was alright, that was acceptable. Let's try getting this plane stopped as quickly as possible, which is probably not going to happen very much, but alright. Here we go, we have now stopped, and so we've lost the all of the electrics, actually, because the ram air turbine is obviously not spinning anymore and providing this plane with energy. But what we can do, I guess, is actually get the evacuation horn, which as you can hear sounds like uh, a McDonald's microwave, kind of, and it's very annoying, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, get the slides out. Is that possible here? And now it's obviously about evacuating this aircraft. How do we do that? Uh, honestly, I have no idea how to uh, open the doors here. So we're probably just gonna die in here, aren't we? All right, unfortunately, we are locked in here, so we're just gonna drown, uh, which is not gonna happen that fast, actually, because, again, the ditching mode is turned on, so the plane won't sink as fast. So that's the A320 crash for you. <laughs> yeah, this plane has some very, very interesting safety precautions. And all right, now we'll come back aboard a perfectly working A320. Now we're in the south of France. By the way, this took four minutes to load in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome to X-Plane Flight Simulator. Now, something that we haven't tried at all yet about the A320, 320 is actually landing this plane on short runways. You know, how's the stopping performance of this plane? Let's just experiment around with this plane a little bit. Something. Let's just fire away there. Not a long runway. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, we were getting a short runway call out, but still, this was a successful stop, as you can tell. Perfectly fine landing, maybe on a little bit of a harsher side. Yeah, I've, I've seen smoother ones, but here at this airport, you're not really allowed to do smooth landings, right? You know, you always land hard here, pretty much. But this worked out very, very well. Very nice. Yeah, it turns out this plane doesn't need a long runway at all. We could go to some random place here, also in the south of France. Quers Pierrefeu. 
QR se tient le feu. I don't know what this is. Let's try landing our A320 there, which is uh, going to be an interesting challenge, I guess. Let's just see what we can do. All right, eight hours later, we are back in the flight simulator at a special location. This is a very interesting approach and a, not a long runway, is that? I mean, this is... Uh, Actually, not too bad. All right, then, let's just land here anyway. I mean, this is definitely, in real life, this would not be enough for a, an A320 to actually fly passengers here as well. They would never be able to do that here. By the way, we're coming in a little faster now, so this could be an interesting challenge. Yeah, the fly-by-wire of this plane is not liking that. All right, let's come in. All right, we have now landed without landing gear, more or less intentionally. And we have to stop. Jesus Christ, come on. All right, this has gone really bad. All right, now we have definitely crashed into some kind of cornfield here in the... I have no idea where we are, somewhere in France. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. The safety of this plane is confirmed or something. And I'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night.